So, AJ, are you ready to go outside the newsroom? I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Okay, let's go. It's been a super busy year with celebrating Victoria's bicentennial celebration this year. In a minute, we're gonna go over a quick recap of what all happened that weekend. We're gonna talk about some recent summer events and other updates that have happened. AJ Gonzalez is gonna join us and talk about bicentennial updates for the remainder of the year. And that's right, guys, the party does not stop here in this city. So let's get to it. April 13th was our big celebratory weekend of our bicentennial where Victoria turned 200 years old. So let's take a look at what all happened that weekend. Our bicentennial weekend kicked us off with the Day of Caring event where hundreds of community volunteers supported local nonprofits and other organizations to give back to our community. After that, we met up in Deleon Plaza where we celebrated the momentous dedication of our Deleon Plaza statue of Martin De Leon and his wife, Patricia De La Garza. There, we gave keys to the city to brother Gary Moses and Blanche De Leon. We also held a ribbon cutting ceremony for the De Leon Plaza Performance Pavilion. Then we wrapped up the weekend with hosting the Bicentennial Ball where we had live music and of course, another key to the city ceremony for Jeannie Morrison. So it truly was a festive celebratory weekend celebrating our Bicentennial where we turned 200 years old. So many people involved, but there's still so much to look forward to. And in a minute, we're gonna talk about what all you have to look forward to the rest of the year. Our latest reconstruction project is gonna put the Pleasant back in Pleasant Green Drive. Or at least the drive back in Pleasant Green Drive. The Pleasant Green Drive reconstruction project started just a couple of weeks ago, and it's expected to last about four months. You may be wondering, how did the street get like this? Well, it's mainly because of construction traffic from US 59, and it happened so fast that council had to add the project as an emergency change to this year's budget. Which is good, because driving down this street is a real pain in the asphalt. I think this is gonna take a lot of asphalt. And believe it or not, we've been making some serious headway this year on street projects. For instance, Crestwood Drive. That's right, we recently finished the third and final phase of this project. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? The new road comes complete with durable concrete paving, new utilities, and ADA compliant sidewalks. Our street projects are officially scheduled on a year-to-year -year basis as part of the budget, but we do find it helpful to look ahead further so that we can be strategic about our funds, especially for big projects like Guy Grant and North Street. Yep, we're already making plans for both of those. Meanwhile, if you wanna see some of the projects that are already on schedule for the next couple of years, you can visit victoriatx.gov forward slash engineering. Let's try this again. August and September are some of the most dangerous months of the year because that's when tropical storms and hurricanes are forming out in the Atlantic. Our city is no stranger to the impact that a tropical storm or a hurricane can have on a community. Just several weeks ago, we had a close call with Hurricane Barrel, missing Victoria by just 15 miles. Leading up to this event, our emergency management office and local entities worked together to make sure that our community was prepared and well informed through it all. We still want to make sure we stay prepared as peak hurricane season approaches. You can do so by visiting and downloading the Victoria Hurricane and Emergency Preparedness Guide at bctx.org forward slash hurricane and sign up for the Office of Emergency Management's Emergency Alerts. Text Alert Victoria to 99411. And for city road closure alerts, news releases, water notices, and more, sign up for our city's alert center by visiting victoriatx.gov forward slash news. So remember, when hurricane season is upon us, stay prepared, have a plan, and make sure you stay informed. Speaking of a plan, where is AJ? <laughs> A lot's changed with our visitor center, starting with its name, Discover Victoria, Texas. The new name for the department is a reflection of our city's status as an emerging tourism destination. 
And as for our new tourism slogan, true to Tejas, well, that gives a visitor an idea of what they can expect when they come to Victoria, a true historic Texas city with deeply rooted Mexican heritage and an authentic blend of cultures. True to Tejas is also reflected in our new fall festival, Tejas Fest, which will be held here at Deleon Plaza. It will feature big names and local favorites from the Tejano and Texas country music scene, along with food trucks, vendors, and plenty of fun activities in historic downtown Victoria. So there you go. Make plans to join us for Tejas Fest, October 4th and 5th. I'm gonna go ahead and walk. I'm gonna head back to the office now. In the meantime, sign up for our city news alerts by visiting victoriatx.gov forward slash news. And until next time, we'll see you outside the newsroom.